Eyewitness News continues. Governor Butch Otter has declared November as Idaho Nonprofit Awareness Month. And we found another good nonprofit. Project Linus is a national organization, but it does have Idaho chapters. We found one in Pocatello representing southeastern Idaho. And Project Linus is a group whose members get together and they make quilts and blankets for children who live in southeastern Idaho who are at risk. And the blankets ride along in police cars and fire trucks. They are also distributed to hospitals, social, social service agencies, and other medical care facilities locally. Uh, the group needs help, they need material and donations. Time to pay it forward. Angie's here with me. Across the street, we're headed into the First Presbyterian Church. They're downstairs. The ladies are meeting right now. They don't know we're coming. There's one lady that's helped us set this up. We're going to go across and surprise them now. And you've got the, you've got the goods, right? Let's pay it forward. Okay, time to pay it forward. Let's go. Let's do this. Hi there. Excuse me. Where's Joyce? Right behind us. Where's Joyce? Are you Joyce? Right. Joyce Weaver? Yes. With Project Linus. Correct. This is Project Linus. This is a big project. It is. It is. Well, I'm Todd Koontz from Channel 3. And I have a good friend here with me. This is Angie Nelson from Mountain America Credit Union. Angie? Mm -hmm. Well, we're here, Joyce, today because somebody in the community here thought that you were doing some pretty good work with Project Linus, making a difference for others. And because of that, I'm here on behalf of Mountain America Credit Union to pay it forward today with Todd. Wow. Thank so, you much. for that, we have $500 cash today. <laughs> wow. Just for you. Thank you. Oh, you're so welcome tell you that we have been making so many blankets, especially teens, which take more than two yards each, that we were running short on fabric. And our, our, our fundraisers have been trying to get people to, to get on the ball, and uh, I wondered if we'd run out before the end of the year, but with this, we certainly will not. Oh, I love and hearing I'm that. cry. <laughs> Thank you so much. Great. Thank you. Thank you. And thank all of you, too. These kids can't help what kind of family situation they're born into. And it's just a way of passing on some love. Sick, children that have nothing. Every once in a while we'll get a thank you card from someone. And those are, you know, tear jerkers. And, and that's why I do it for the kids. The best part is I have actually seen children with a blanket before. So I know that they are receiving them. And, you come away from that. I mean, that's got to tug pretty hard at the It heart. does. But it also makes us realize that we are helping, even if it's just a little bit at a time, we're helping the community. Project Linus made and donated 1,087 blankets in 2015. This year so far, they're almost at 700, with 125 this month already. If you would like to donate, you can reach Project Linus by calling Joyce Weaver it's a local number at 478-2170. We have all the contact information for the group on our website as well. Our Pay It Forward stories air the second Wednesday and Thursday of every month. So if you know of a nonprofit organization or someone who deserves to be recognized for their contributions to the area, let me know. Log on to KIDK.com and click on Pay It Forward. You look off to the right side there, you'll see the Mountain America Pay It Forward logo. It'll take you to this page. And on this page, you can fill out the form, click Submit, it comes right to me. Or you can send me an email to T. Koontz, that's K-U-N-Z, at K-I-D-K dot com. And we'll be right back. <laughs>